Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel, I'm the editor of Workboat.com and I'm here with Chris Carroll. How are you doing, Chris? Good, thanks, good, thanks. So Chris, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of interest online on this uh, new 80 horsepower, all electric, uh, outboard motor that you guys have got going on. You know, why do you think people are responding to it so much? You know, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting project to begin with. It's something new, it's innovative. I think it's also a solution for a lot of people. Um, you know, in a time where we have such fluctuating prices in gasoline and operating costs, the, having the electric motor really gives you a sense of fixed cost boating for a period of, of so many years. Um, and you know, not only that, it's, a, it's an environmental issue, it's quiet, it's friendly, you know, you can be doing 35 miles an hour and have a civil conversation with somebody, so it's, um, you know, there's so many different aspects that make it exciting and, you know, I think in Europe we see that, you know, 60% of boating areas are green only, mm -hmm. you know, and I certainly see that trend starting to develop in America. Um, and, you know, gas prices in Europe are obviously far exceeding what they are here, but that's going to, you know, I don't think we can sit here and say that in 10 years from now that gas is probably going to be the same cost as it is today. Sure. So. So, you know, talk to me about uh, kind of good applications for this. You know, is this something that I can use in search and rescue? You know, this is obviously a workboat show. What are some yep. workboat applications? Yeah, I mean, the scope is endless, really. And, uh, you know, you can make a case for sort of any application within given markets, whether it's your water taxis, your ferries, your workboats, um, you know, patrol boats of marinas or, or waterways. Um, anybody that is really using a boat sort of in that 150 plus days a year category, you know, we can make a very, very solid business case um, for the use of the electric motor. So, you know, anybody, any high use guy that, that is, you know, wants a commercial application, it's very, very fit for. Sure. Talk to me a little bit about the uh, technology that you guys had to, you know, sort of develop, and also what's the upper limit? I mean, are we going to see 100 horsepower, 120 horsepower? I mean, yeah. people always want more. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's always about more power, especially in the U.S. Um, <laughs> you know, it's been a three-year development process, and you know, it's the technology. We wouldn't have been having this conversation sort of four or five years ago because the battery technology wasn't there. It was just too big, too expensive, and not really uh, applicable. With you know, I think the development of the automotive industry in electric mobility sure. has really helped us a lot. And, you know, from not only the technology standpoint, but because, you know, I think originally the, the battery manufacturers were expecting volumes up here on the auto side, and in reality they're somewhere here. So they're filling that gap now. And, um, you know, we've also taken the technology to a new level in meaning that the, the automotive batteries that we use in here, uh, we're the first people to do waterproofing, so everything is IP67. The entire system is IP67 rated, so we can submerse it under one meter for water, water for up to one hour. So, you know, that's very reassuring. Obviously, with, with, with lithium, you know, safety has probably been the primary focus on this sure. um, uh, uh, throughout the development stage. It's a 400 volt system, so it's serious power. So, you know, in terms of the system, we do what we call a closed loop system, meaning everything is locked down. You cannot have access to anything that is dangerous or harmful. Now, that also means that all of our systems are communicating together in the same language, much like an iPhone that is a closed loop system, so sure. is our system. Mm -hmm. So you could theoretically take a motor, put an electric engine on it, and then pair it with something else, da -da -da, you know, et cetera, but it's not that efficient. And so, um, you know, with, with our system, we, we focus on two primary things, efficiency and safety, and that's, that's what it's derived from. Now, going back to the other question about the horsepower, yeah. you know, we can, we can easily go out today and put a, you know, 500 horsepower electric engine, that's the easy part. What happens is that it's a trade-off in battery weight, really, um, you know, the batteries are not heavy, and so we've done a lot of research on what that optimal sort of range is, and, you know, this 80, this 80 horsepower equivalent segment is, is very, very, uh, um, we feel it's probably the best segment right now. Yeah. Well, great. Well, it'll be interesting to see how it goes forward. Thanks for being here today. Appreciate it. Yep. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time on workboat.com.